Hey guys, welcome back. Jason is home today. Jace, hey. he's watching funny videos on YouTube. Uh, no, I'm watching Alpha Male. I have a dress, <laughs> shorts. Oh <my> gosh. <laughs> he's been watching comical videos on YouTube, and so he's kind of in a mood. Um, can you get my power cord? What? Can you get my power cord from the computer, please? Sure. We're going to go to Costco because he is out of the s'mores snacks. And he's been in withdrawal for the past, I don't even know, how many days, honey? I don't know. I have my own supply, but I have it hidden. And I'm he, out. Uh, yeah, I have a whole bag hidden. So we're going to go to Costco. I'm also going to film a Hobby Lobby shop with me with him so i don't know how well that's gonna go yes. he gets kind of snarky when i take him to hobby lobby but um anyway so stick around for that video um we are filming both of those today i need to get cut oh no just what I'm helping you get your coat on oh you oh thought you were wanting to be snarky and take the camera no i'll take i'll hold the camera so you can talk well oh you well, get that's your nice. coat on. thank you yeah okay I love you. I love you too. <laughs> but you're in a snarky mood this morning, so I thought I'm not you were... in a snarky mood. No, you're just watching. Just because I talked about how much I love to go to Hobby Lobby. Okay, let's go to Hobby. Well, well, I don't know what one we're gonna do first. I don't either. It's pouring rain outside. I just go gotta put you guys away. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. You're hilarious. Because <laughs> you were claiming that. I was just telling you. You were claiming that. Okay, no, 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 okay, no, I gotta turn, okay, let me explain this. Get in the car, and I'm hot, because it's like not even cold outside, but wearing it's- wearing a down jacket when I tell her- Because it's raining, and I, it. anyway, I don't need the coat for warmth, I needed it to cover my head up, so I don't constantly have to open an umbrella. Okay, so <laughs> get in the car, and we're driving away, and he's not doing his windshield wipers at all, and it always that drives me- to Yes, do it does have it. everything- no, it no, no, let me talk. So, <laughs> he's not doing his windshield wipers, and I'm like, are you gonna do your windshield wipers? But at the same time, but I'm asking- No, no, you said no. it sarcastically. So do you know- How to you do know, your windshield no, wipers. you said, do you know what windshield wipers are? Yeah, so I did, I was being sassy. I don't, just, I don't, whatever. So, <laughs> So, I don't yes. need to be rude, I'm just disrespectful. I know. So, anyway, so, um, at the same time, I'm hot and I'm asking to turn on air, right? At, then he turns on his windshield wipers, but they're not going. And he's windshield like, wipers have nothing to do with the snow. Yes, they do. If ever, that's why I'm laughing. I'm going to explain to you because you clearly don't know. So, he turns the windshield wipers on. And he's like, they're on auto. They'll go on when they need to go on. And I totally get that. So then I'm trying to figure out why air isn't turning on and he goes in and he's all snarky and he turns like all the settings on. He's like, No, and, I didn't turn the settings on. No, I know. You turned the settings on and then you were like, how come I'm not getting air? How come I'm not getting air? And you said. And I said, well, why don't we look at it and see what it's doing? So we clicked on it and we said, oh, it's auto. You don't need air. That's why no, I'm it's giving it to you. <laughs> And you're like, it doesn't speak for me. Yeah, because he was acting like, like, he was acting like the air control would only work if it knew that I was hot. No. Like it has its own no. auto sensor. If Dana is hot it in the auto, car, it'll it automatically turn it, it on. It tries to realize, hey, maybe we need. No, it will not automatically do defrost. It will not automatically That's what auto cold. does. It tries to spread it out and get it. No, it doesn't. That's why I was laughing because he was acting like the windshield wipers, that the, the, the airflow would automatically like sync to whatever I want it to be. That would be a killer car. If it sensed my like yeah. body temperature, and, and heat level. Demands. Yes. They call that a husband. <laughs> no, because you don't do that. <laughs> it takes many years to force your husband in. Then he starts gardening <laughs> because he's beat down and just figures what the hell I'll do with the garden. Oh my gosh, stop. You just go to the mountains. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that was funny. Okay. So we just went to Costco. We got the usual and we got his crack. We got two bags of the <laughs> s'mores <laughs> <laughs> snacks. It's good stuff, dude. But I'm gonna, ha he doesn't think so, but I'm gonna hide one of the bags. Not to not let you eat it, but not to let you eat it tomorrow. You're gonna have the whole first bag gone today. You have a whole day off. He's not answering. When he doesn't answer, he knows I'm right and he there's no rebuttal. 
There's no rebuttal. This is just gonna be a long. Oh shoot! Oh. I didn't uh, write. I can't mail the package because I didn't write down. Um. Oh. Call landed. Oh, I didn't. Hung up on him. I didn't do the address and tape it, so I can't go to the post office. Okay. So where are we off to next? Well, so we just got gas, and he was making fun of me because, like, last week when I talked to him about getting the Costco car fob for your gas. It's like a little I scanning. Just said we didn't need it. We can use a card. No, no, it's so do. lazy. Anyway, so do. I signed it up for him and got him his own little fob for his keys, and he just used it today. And he's like, "Oh, well, I mean, that, oh, there goes bag of chips. Bag of chips. That's nice." So um, he's like, "Oh, it was like, hi, Jason. You know, did it say anything else or just your name?" No, it just pops on the screen with your name. It doesn't actually say anything to you. Oh, I thought you said it said oh, it. It doesn't talk to I, it. I thought it did. You said it said it. Sorry. I miss, I miss, I, I thought said, that was kind of cool. It said, hi, Jason. On the screen. On the screen. Okay, you didn't say it on the screen. Oh, okay. I didn't think you would think that the <laughs> machine now talks to us. I thought us. the machine, yeah. That's what I interpreted it as. Anyway, it's just nice because then you just, you don't have to get your wallet out. You already have your keys out of your ignition so you don't blow your car up while you're getting gas and you like scan it and... You're good to go. You don't have to get your wallet out and then forget you put it in your pocket. Oh, gosh. Just... You know what? We don't do food delivery. We don't do Uber. We don't do, like, all these other lazy man things that other people do. So I'll take my gas car fob. Yeah. Yes? You'll, you fob it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. So we've unloaded our groceries and I've hidden Jason's second bag of s'mores. He doesn't know where it is. Maybe, I'll tell you guys really quick. It's way in the back of this closet. It's way back under that coat. So maybe when he watches this video, you know, what, let's see. Let me see when this is gonna go up. This video is gonna go up <laughs> in a week. So maybe you'll find it then. All right. So where's my old thing? Okay. <laughs> Oh, someone got panicked. Someone got panicked that he had mind. someone steal his already opened, already snacked on bag. You're kind of ridiculous, hon. It is. It's an addiction, I admit. Yeah. But he could be addicted to alcohol or smoking or vaping. It's kind of an issue in their household because we have issues with that with employment so um i want to send him on honeydew list what? <laughs> stuff to get done did. no but you like going to costco that doesn't really count we went to hobby lobby oh hobby lobby does that's a lot of points so and then we went to get you your all prized coke whatever so i need to do a few things still get ready for the wedding I would love to just sit and edit for the rest of the afternoon, actually. So I might just get a few things done and then sit down to edit. And then the kids are gonna be home in an hour. And no, oh, two hours. Right. It's a short day. So anyway, so exciting. Our life is very exciting. It is. But we have excitement. We have chips. <laughs> and we keep buying like either we're not on schedule at going to go to, with going to Costco. Oh, you need help? No, I got it. It's okay. Don't help. It's okay. Okay. So, we're not on schedule going to Costco, and so last week I bought too many milks. So I had six milks last week. So then we still had two extra today. So we only bought two. But then I got bread, because I always get bread. And then I came home, and there's still two of those in the fridge outside, and one in here. So it looks like we're going to make French toast again. <laughs> very, very soon. Should gotten should have gotten double on the eggs, but all right. So the item that I've got to do next that I think I'll do just so that it's done. One of the boards my sister is doing. She's gonna have like 30 pictures for me when I get there, and then we're gonna stain these paper clips, and then we'll string the pictures onto the twine and my dad and her are gonna do this like four foot beadboard sign 
um, and then they're gonna frame it to match the framing on my signs and we'll string the twine going across it and hang all 20, 30 pictures across it. So I'm gonna grab some gloves and go out in the garage really quick, pull my hair up. Hey, Jace? Jace? He's gonna go take a nap or hide in his man cave with his s'mores. Jace? Hello? Oh my gosh, I already lost him. What? Oh. Can you get me a scrunchie from Abby's bedroom, please? Okay. So, I'll go and stain those items. Then I've got to figure out, maybe I'll get the suitcase out. This is what I'm going to do. i got to do some things that he can help me with while he's home. So he's taking today off. It's only Wednesday. But he took today off because he cannot take Friday off this week. The trunk show, the Dansko trunk show, starts on Friday. And it goes clear through next weekend at our store. If We have a shoe store, in case you didn't know. Hang on, let me get a suitcase down really quick. So he's not working this, or he is working this Friday. So he took today and tomorrow off. So I've got to like get some of these projects done while I have him home. <laughs> Let's go up to our room. No, I need that to see if these boards will fit inside that suitcase. Oh, it's not going to. We have a bigger suitcase. That's why I want to test it. All right, so I have a game plan. All the boards fit on this side of the suitcase. We've got the biggest one out that we have. And then I think I might try and make a few more signs with that wood that I had extra. And then instead of doing two carry-on bags, which was my initial thought, so that we didn't have to check a bag, now I think what I'm gonna do is use my little cubes and have everyone pack their individual stuff in a cube. I'll probably put all the wedding dresses in this bag with my stuff. Then Abby and Kaylee can take a bag. Chelsea and Ashley can take a bag with their sleeping like their pajamas and underwear and a pair of, I think they need two changes of clothes. So then we can put all of that stuff on this side of the suitcase and then it'll be worth, ignore the, <laughs> kind of put the curls up because it's getting really hot. So then it'll be worth checking the bag and then we won't have the hassle of taking the carry-ons on the plane. I'll just be able to have them have their backpacks each um, with like stuff to do on the plane and the drive. And Kaylee and Abby actually might have homework that I'm gonna make them bring with them so they can take their backpacks on the plane. I just was really feeling stupid to having to check this bag and pay for it only to get rid of all the signs once I'm there and then having an empty suitcase have to pay 50 bucks to bring it home. This way at least it saves us the hassle of having the extra bags on the plane and then all of my regular stuff can go back in there. Look at that. I've literally had like three sips of this drink. So someone seems to like my cold drink beverage more than I do. He was mocking me and he's drank more of it. Whatever. And he's disappeared up to his little man cave because I've now given him an assignment and he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> so let me get you guys' opinion. This welcome sign, that W right there, in order to make that W not look like it was uneven or not centered, I had to raise it up higher on the board to make this all look lined up. But then it left like a huge empty space at the bottom. It just looked so weird having it be down here for some reason when I was putting it on. So I showed it to my sister and she actually wants me to cut off like a good two or three inches off the bottom of this board all the way across and just have it be a smaller board. And I just told Jason that we needed that done and then he disappeared. So I gotta convince him to come back down and then I think I will go stain and cut the wood and then I can sit on the computer for a couple hours. The girls are probably gonna come home and have friends to play with or him to hang out with while I edit so I don't feel guilty because they don't ever get to hang out with him. So either way, it's a win for them and I'll get my stuff done. I'm trying to think. I, I just, I feel like I need to get some computer work done. One, because I'm getting further and further behind here on my channel and I need to be further out in order to be gone for the wedding and not have to edit while I'm gone. 
Plus tomorrow is really busy and Friday is busy for me. So I'm just trying to get caught up. Um, hopefully eventually this will like <laughs> be work. I mean, it's work for me, but like I'm not really getting paid well for it. So right now people don't they're like, oh, you work from home. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I need it to actually like be financially <sighs> worth it in order for me to like keep justifying spending all this time working on the computer. So I need more of you guys to sub subscribe and comment and get this channel out to your friends. Like if you want to share it with your friends, put it on your Facebook page, put it on your Instagram, tell people to come and start watching my show, you know, my channel here because I can't keep taking all this time I love doing this I love having the memory and being able to talk to you guys but financially I need it to like start paying off <laughs> I need to like have it be worth it so I'm gonna get on to my stuff today I'm losing time kids are gonna be home why do you keep disappearing when I have your need of you Oh, what do you need me for? To cut the wood, remember? I just asked you to come help me do that. Oh, are we doing that right now? That's why I asked you to do it for me right now. You just said, oh, I need you to do that. I didn't know now, it was now. You're home today. Do you want to do it right now? Don't know how else to ask you to do it right now, but other than to say I need it done right now. All right, you pull the car out. Put your snacks away. What? He's eating him, guys. He hasn't had lunch yet. He's still... Oh, he hung up on me. looks better I feel bad it's not as big as we wanted it all right so now I'm gonna sand this edge down and stain it and then I'll stain the clothespins too all right got all the clothespins oh I missed oh no this one's broken <laughs> all right clothespins are stained and ready to go for the wedding look at this hair here we go a little bit better we go. Okay, I'm gonna go work on the computer. It feels good to have all of that done. And this suitcase here is packed up. I actually found one more sign. It was in the garage for some reason. So that sign is all ready to go. And I feel better about having everything ready for the wedding now. We can just pack and, you know, Get ready to go next week. It's only Wednesday. I get that I'm ahead of schedule. But I'm a planner and a prepare. And Halloween is like right after we get back. And so kind of now need to take time to prep for Halloween. <laughs> so that we don't have that to fall back on when we get home. So I'm gonna have some grapes and some cottage cheese. And a drink of water. What else could I have? Ooh, I could have a cheese stick. So, oh, that's what we forgot at Costco. Dang it. You know, like you, these cheese sticks last us a really long time. I can easily go like a couple months without having to buy these. So, and I don't eat them. They're all for lunches. So, except today I am. Just because I want a quick and easy lunch while I sit and work on the computer. So, I guess we'll be buying cheese sticks next week. I won't worry about it. Actually, I probably won't buy it next week even because we only have two more days of school this week and then they'll go three days next week. 
and then we'll be gone. So maybe while I'm gone, I'll have Jason stop at Costco on his way home from work, Thursday or Friday, and get some cheese and stuff so that we have food when we get home. And, oh gosh, this is how it always goes. I have a half hour till the kids bus. <laughs> Like, this is how it is. You run your errands, you get your stuff done, and then you're like, okay, I have time to breathe. And then they're home from school. It's just the way it goes. So, I'm gonna hurry. It's not that I need alone time right now, it's that I need to get stuff done on the computer. So. Hey, big girl, what you making? This is cool. You look like you're having fun. You having fun? That's pretty creative. It's cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. Hi, Chels. So we're having dinner. Um, there's Abby. We just made this garlic pasta from Costco. What are you doing? And the funny thing is that I'm the only one who eats the broccoli. So I get to pick out all the, all the broccoli. So we have that, but then we also have this other thing. And then I think they're good. They won't eat them. They'll literally leave it on their plate. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so Abby admits that she doesn't eat any of the broccoli. We actually might need to make more. So take what you want. Why didn't you get a scoop? I just, because I, I was stirring, oh. stirring it with that. So the night kind of got away from us. We actually just had book club here and all the guys came. All the, some of the husbands. I think we had about, oh, and I pulled my hair up. Um, uh, how many guys were here? Like one, two, three, four. Four. And then there's probably about eight women, eight or nine women that came. And we discussed the book um, Educated. I think I've mentioned it before. Really by Tara book. by Tara Westover. It was an, a very interesting conversation. I loved having the guy's perspective as well as the women. Um, we're used to our perspective. Kind of knew kind of how that conversation was going to go about it. But um, partly because we've already kind of talked about it in other settings. But it was really interesting to have the com you know conversation with It was interesting to have the conversation with the guys. They have their own little book club that they're trying to do, but they're not very motivated and none of them check their Facebook group and they're not good at scheduling it and actually reading the book. And no, some of you don't read the book. Not guys come to. Yeah. yeah, so there's not as much motivation. So we invited them to come to our November book exchange slash voting session where we suggest two or three books per person, and then we pick our top eight for the year. 2020 is what we're gonna pick. And then um, we're actually gonna pick a couple books that we read together as, not necessarily couples, but like we, where we invite the guys to come as well next year and have, you know, I just think it's a different conversation. Not that we want them here every single one, every single time. It's a but fun perspective. it's a fun perspective and if you have the right books then it could be the right conversation so sorry that the night kind of kind of skipped ahead I should have kind of shown you our little spread we had um, I kind of got last minute um, absent-minded and I was like oh, I don't have a dessert I popped some popcorn because um, that's like an easy one to do but uh I just, I'm like, texted everyone. I'm like, I need someone to do dessert. And they came through. They brought some apples and some caramel dip. Someone else brought some more um, popcorn. Kind of added it to mine. And then someone else brought um, chocolate chip pumpkin cookies, which are really, really good. So, anyway, you would say, Jace, that you had a good time? Oh, yeah, no, it's fun. Book clubs Batteries are always flashing. Fun. Book clubs are always great, especially that yeah. perspective. 
uh, I don't know. Yeah. Men, men, women. It's just, it's fun. Yeah. So we had a good night. But our battery's flashing and I'm exhausted. So take care, you guys, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe.